everybody. This is Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to do a ring pour on it and I'm using all metallics and um, I have a layer of, I'll go over it, Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents White Pearl and to that I added, I would say about two big heaping teaspoons of the DecoArt Satin Enamel. I'm going to try and get a cloudy effect today. And my other paints are Rust-Oleum Metallics Copper Penny. Again, Rust-Oleum Metallics Champagne. And Rust-Oleum Metallics Rich Brown. This is the first time I'm using this uh, rich brown color. Very pretty. I am also using um, a Bling It from Color Art, and it is the Interference Blue. And another color I'm using is the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Amethyst. Very pretty purple color. I'm using DecoArt Metallic 24 Karat Gold. And my last color, I believe, is um, DecoArt Metallic's Deep Sapphire. And I will list all of my paints in the description. Uh, my pouring medium today for everything except for the Interference Bling It uh, Blue is Two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt a GAC 800, and a teaspoon of the Liquitex Gloss Medium. Now for the, um, the Bling It Interference color, I did use um, one ounce of the Vivid Polypore, and I'll show you that bottle, and about an eighth of a teaspoon of the Mica Powder with that. Okay, so let's get started layering in my cup. And I think I will just set my cup right here in the middle. Okay, and the um, base coat I have down does have the enamel in it. And also I'm going to be putting the enamel in with my paints that I'm going to layer for the uh, for the pour. I'll start with my gold. These are very beautiful colors. The deep sapphire. Champagne. And this brown, very pretty, very shiny. And now I will add some of the uh, base coat with the enamel. Now I'm going to add some of the interference color. I've I've never used the bling it with a ring pour before so I'm just going to see if it does anything I'll just continue layering my paints And again, I'm going to put a layer of the interference bling it in there. I'm 
and I am going to add another layer of the base coat with the enamel. These are all very pretty colors. Really hoping this turns out well. I hope you all are doing well today. In our state, I did hear this morning that we've had some pretty bad flooding and they've had to evacuate quite a few homes. So I am hoping that gets resolved quickly. Okay, I'm going to put the rest of my interference color in here. I do have negative space today that's fine too because I have plenty of the base coat I will add a little more of the white with the enamel and end with the purple here. Since I have a lot, I'm going to add just a little bit more of this white on top. Okay. And I am just going to start with a little puddle of my um, paint with the enamel in it and see how that goes and we're ready to start pouring now I'm just going to turn my cup a little bit here and turn it back this way and then turn it back to the middle. Now I'll start making some circles. Okay, and I am just going to use my skewer here a little bit just to fix up some of these circles here at the end. Before I start tipping. And 
I am going to torch. I did not add any silicone today, if I did not mention that. I will add just a little bit extra of this paint also. Make sure I have a nice layer of it. Okay. So I'm going to start tipping now. And I'm hoping that you will be able to see most of my tipping here. I will take it over this corner and bring it back. And I will bring it over this corner. and bring it back and bring it to this corner now and I'm glad I have my lowly veffy mat underneath because I can let this extra paint dry and peel it up and as I mentioned before in previous videos I give it to a local craft store um, where there's some ladies that uh, are very thankful they get that because they make jewelry out of it. Looking good so far. So I'm going to get this last corner here. and bring it back I can tell you what I like a lot right now and that is this this purple here how it's streaking down like that And I am going to take a little bit more off at this edge over here, the far edge. There's still quite a bit of paint on my canvas here. And I will bring it back. And I'm going to bring it down. And take some of that off on that edge. Okay. And now I'll bring it down a little bit again. Just going to take a look at it here now for composition. Very, very beautiful. A lot of the gold came through. A lot of that amethyst came through. 
and actually some of the brown came through, which is very nice. I see some copper here. I think what I'm going to do is tip down. Just tip it down somewhat. And then tip it over a little bit. And now I'm going to look at it again. Very, very pretty. Pretty happy with this. I'm going to take my skewer again and I'm just going to see if I can add a little something here. And tip down again, down and over. Okay, and I'm going to bring it back just a little bit. Okay, I just think it's really beautiful. Just cleaning the bottoms off here with my fingers a little bit. And I'm going to torch it one more time. still really didn't get anything that cloudy with the enamel paint but that may come up may pop up with time Just a very few little cells here coming up on the edge. Okay. I think I will get you down for a close-up. And you can tell me what you think. Okay, everybody, this is the upper left-hand corner. And I'll bring you down the left side here. Very pretty stripes. You can see the gold, some of the copper, a lot of the purple. This is the lower left-hand corner. And now we'll go up the middle here. Very pretty. And I will tell you which I think is the, the most attractive uh, section of this painting. You can see a, a few of the little white cells coming up. But also with the enamel, you get that muted, cloudy effect. And I think right in here is the star of this painting. How these stripes turned out so beautiful. So eye-catching right in here. This is my favorite part.
and it does look a little muted and cloudy and that is from the enamel paint. This is the lower right hand corner. I'll just take you up the, the edge here of the right. So let me know what you think about this painting. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.